Now, your Alaska Link weather for Juneau and Southeast. Good evening. It has been a very active January and it is going to stay that way. Now looking back at our last snow event here, these official three day snowfall totals have come through showing anywhere from 18 inches into Pelican to nearly 50 inches into Douglas with the Juneau Airport ending up with 34.5 inches of snowfall, making it the sixth largest three day snow event for the Juneau Airport. It has now brought that seasonal snowfall total to just shy of nine. 90 inches of snowfall, creating the 10th snowiest to date season so far. We still have a season ahead, but we're going to be talking about a transition. But note that nearly 78% of that nearly 90 inches has occurred this month, making it the second snowiest January and setting us up for some concerns as what we notice that we still have about 35 inches of snowfall on the ground. Now that snow is going to be able to easily absorb rain showers and we could exceed two inches of rain showers over the weekend, especially heaviest coming Sunday. Now with that, as that rain is absorbed into the snowfall, it creates a very heavy, dense snow that is very difficult to manage. It can lead to damage to properties, collapsed roofs, very large to deadly avalanches. That snow can block drainage areas, leading to flooding concerns and then leading to icing concerns as we're even seeing some of the icing and threat currently uh, icing threat in place currently due to temperatures hovering just around that freezing mark. We have a cold surface and light rain showers in place. So note that very slick surfaces are being reported across much of the panhandle. We even note that Haynes and uh, Yaktat falling below that freezing mark and hovering around that at times. But all these snow levels are going to be lifting as this next system moves its way in. So do stay uh, wary and start to take those precautions to protect your property and help those neighbors as we're starting to see that these rain showers have been staying intact across the southern panhandle. We get a little bit of more isolated activity for Thursday, but by end of day Friday, you can see that higher reflectivity to the south, and that is going to be the waves of energy that will be lifting into our weekend forecast where that concern is in place. So there is some time to do some pickup, but concerns are already out there for avalanches. So do be careful out there. Have those uh, safety uh, precautions in place if you are heading out. We're even noting that through end of day Friday, accumulation numbers already exceeding half an inch to inch markers and again potentially up to two inches could be possible as we head towards that Sunday forecast. So again there is some time here Thursday Friday for that pickup before conditions will worsen as those rain showers will pick up Saturday Sunday and then as we roll into next week we are going to be back to talking about more of those wintry concerns as we'll see some warming with this to bring us to those mid 40s but then there is some slight cooling into next week which brings back that wintry potential.